Hi, this is Amanda from Albany Mountain Homestead, and you're in for a real treat. Very rarely. Hi, Gossamania Homestead. Thank you for joining me. You're in for a real treat. This is the first time I've ever shown my face on my channel, so here we go. I wanted to share today um, my bulk uh, waffle mix that we use instead of buying this stuff, which most people tend to buy out of convenience. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So um, with the bulk mix uh, recipe, you can make small batches, large batches. Um, then after you cook your waffles, you can freeze them. They can later be put in your toaster for the next morning for your kids if they're eating breakfast at home because mine are going back to school tomorrow. And breakfast is going to be served at home, so we try to uh, mix it up a little. Some days cereal, some days oatmeal, some days waffles. So uh, let me see if I can fix the camera a little bit more and uh, so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Patience with me. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can uh, lower the computer. <clears throat> Gonna get crazy. Hang on. Try not to make it go too crazy. I'm so sorry. I think that might do a little bit better so you guys can see things. All right, is that better? Can you see? <clears throat> Trying to brighten it up for you too so you can see stuff. All right, let's fix it a little more. Okay, so I store my uh, bulk mix in this container. It holds about 12 cups worth of uh Hello, Pete's Little Homestead. Thank you for joining me tonight. We're talking about making um, bulk pancake waffle mix. I do this uh, for my kids for school so they can take a waffle or a pancake, throw it in the toaster, and have a warm breakfast. And I make my own bulk mix because a lot of people pay more for the price of convenience, so to speak. And you already have all the ingredients for a waffle mix in your home. So, um, and I started doing this like a year ago. And for our family, size of six, if we're going to make a big meal out of it, usually this will get four meals of uh, waffles, usually about one large waffle per person, uh, and give or take, depending on who's making the waffles, sometimes people overpour. So, all right. So the bulk mix kind of goes like this and I wrote it on um, my container. So it's really super easy to remember. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Family of nine. We're six and yeah, but you know, um, I was raised with a cook and I always try to cook for an army like she did. So, um, so yeah, this bulk mix will, I, Pretty sure you could stretch it to at least nine waffles if you have it like a smaller waffle iron. We have the Belgian waffle style, so it's a little deeper. All right, so for um, the bulk mix, we're going to start with uh, six cups of flour. And I'll, I make two batches so that I will get more meals out of it. And... We'll just start there. I should have probably pre-measured a little bit. I don't want to take up everybody's time. I know there's other people doing live streams, and I don't want to interfere with everybody else's regular scheduled program. That was three. It might help if I keep count to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-
for. Five. Six. All right. So six cups of flour. Then to that, we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. <clears throat> And then next we add a teaspoon of salt. It's up to you which salt you want to use. You can use Himalayan. I like Himalayan. I just don't have it right now. So a teaspoon of salt. And then we need three, no, two teaspoons of uh, baking soda. like a one, three, one of salt, two of baking soda. And then we need three tablespoons of your baking powder. Oh, yeah, there's my whisk. And after you get everything measured, all you really have to do after that is whisk everything together. It's up to you if you want to sift it to really make sure everything is perfectly incorporated. I use my big stand mixer bowl. I wish I had a bigger bowl because I could do like the whole batch all at once, but I'll tend to do it. Yes, all purpose because we're, we, we are adding the, um, we're controlling the amount of salt, baking soda and the baking powder. So yeah, it's better to use all purpose flour. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I should have said that, but so I'm just going to mix all of this in together really well. That reminds me, I was going to make a waffle for you so you could just kind of see how I uh, put together the mix. I've got to plug in my waffle iron, get that going and nice and warm. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good way to make extra waffles ahead of time. Let the kids either warm them in the microwave or the toaster. A lot of times we have breakfast for dinner. And let's see. Ah, okay. I don't know how much of a lag there is. Um, I do live out in the country. So I am not sure how well this looks for you. Can you uh, let me know, Goss Mania? Is everything coming through clear enough for you? Um. I was kind of concerned about going live. I know I don't have a thousand subscribers yet, but um, apparently I can go live on my computer, but I can't go live on my phone. So that's why I'm on the computer, even though I'm pretty sure my phone has a better camera. But um, I recently found out one of my videos has like 2000 views. I, and I wasn't really paying attention because I haven't really been watching my I mean, I see my channel growing and it's partly mind blowing, but at the same time, I don't feel like um, I deserve as much as, you know, as many subscribers as I have or deserve the attention because I haven't put out much content at this point. Okay, thank you, Gosmini. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Hopefully, if we can get the thousand subscribers, I can use my phone and I, you know, I'm hoping there will be a better quality picture there. So now I'm just going to uh, transfer my mix to my container. Ooh. And then I'll just repeat this process. And then next we'll go ahead and um, show you how to get it all mixed up and get it in the waffle iron. Um, quick heads up, when you are mixing the waffle or pancake mix, um, I say to use three cups of milk, but really you want to add pro closer to two and a half at first 
And then if you need more, add it. If you don't, that you're probably going to be at the best consistency. <laughs> I think that a lot of times depends on how compact the flower has gotten <clears throat> or how light the flower has gotten in the process. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mix up a batch because, my, like I said, my kids start school tomorrow and I want to have some waffles ready for them. So the reason I was making another batch is because I'm down to my last little bit of uh, my waffle pancake mix. And again, if you want it looser for pancakes, it's just fine to go ahead and... Um, <clears throat> put it together with the same instructions, same amount of eggs and other things except the milk. You might just want to use slightly less. All right. So I've got my wife, my waffle iron getting warmed up. We've got our three cups of milk, but if you need less, use less. We're going to be using three eggs, some vanilla, and butter. Vanilla to me is my secret ingredient when it comes to uh, making waffles or pancakes. To me, it just takes it up one little notch. Um, even in uh, French toast, I love adding vanilla to it. To me, it just gives it more, uh, just a better flavor. I've, that's my opinion. But you don't have to use the vanilla. You know, again, with the Hungry Jack mix, all you're adding is water, and I'm pretty sure all the, you don't know what all is in that mix. So that was, uh, like, gifted to us when uh, we my mom had passed away and my sister was trying to clean out her house. So that was a gift. I'm going to melt the butter real quick. <clears throat> If you noticed, I put uh, the microwave on for one minute at 50% power. I find what you got there. So two and a quarter cups of milk. Yeah, that's probably about where you want to be. All right. Well, for the bulk mix, yes, you're going to do the six cups, the one quarter cup of sugar. But when you make the mix... You're only using three cups of the mix, and now we're going to be adding in the remaining ingredients to make the waffles, if that makes sense. So you're only using half of the mix you just I just made. <clears throat> but we're going to do three eggs, and we have chickens at our house. And so out of precaution... I always crack my eggs into a separate bowl first before throwing it in your um, into your other ingredients. It's just safer to do it that way, um, especially with eggs that come from your own backyard. Yes, three eggs. <clears throat> you know. Um, Occasionally you can come across a bad egg or even if you just get a shell in your uh, in your egg. I always recommend, you know, uh, breaking your egg into a separate bowl. That way you don't have to make the mistake in your in your uh, final product of having an egg in there that you didn't want. <clears throat> All right. So we now have three eggs added here. I'm going to get my butter. And I'm just throwing everything. The mix is already in here. Here's my butter. I don't necessarily recommend throwing hot butter on your eggs. So I'm going to kind of incorporate a little bit here and then start pouring in the butter. You don't want scrambled egg in your waffle mix. All right, so, and then let's go ahead and add in the milk. So I have three cups here, but I'm going to start with around two and a quarter, two and a half cups, see where we're at.
And my waffle iron is ready all to go. So as soon as I get all of this incorporated. Now, if you do get your mixture too wet, instead of adding more of your baking mix, just add in more flour because then you're not using more of your your baking or uh, your waffle pancake mix than you really want to use because there's nothing like coming up a half cup short down the line. All right, so we're about here, and I think I need to add just a smidge more. So let's see, maybe another half a cup. So yeah, I got maybe a half a cup left in there. It's okay if it's a little lumpy. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. This is a pretty good waffle consistency, if you can see that real well. And the final ingredient, the vanilla. Now, I know vanilla is crazy expensive, so I'm only going to use a teaspoon for this larger batch. Now, if you do want to make a smaller batch, you know, just a couple of people, you can just uh, split the recipe into thirds. Use one cup of mix, one egg, one cup of milk or less, and some vanilla, and you're good to go. And I think... I think I'm going to add a smidge more. We're still a little thick. It's going to rise somewhat in your um, waffle iron pan. You know, um, we have a Belgian. So my husband, he likes the deep pockets in the Belgian waffles for more syrup. And uh, how's it going, Gossmania? Am I doing all right? I appreciate you sticking with me here. I tried to make sure to get everything all coordinated so it would be as smooth as possible, except for the part of having to wait on a waffle iron. <clears throat> and um, I use spray on my waffle iron. I spray the top, spray the bottom. If you want some crispier edges, put um, a little bit of butter in your Waffle iron. Let's see. Can you see it? There we go. When you're pouring the mix, you don't really want the waffle mix to, you don't keep pouring until it reaches the edge, so to speak, because it's going to spread once you set your waffle iron down. My uh, daughter, I see you. I see you. <laughs> My daughter's outside looking through the window. Can you see her peeking? Um, <clears throat> let's see. Never had to buy. Mix again? What? Mix what again? What, you want me to make the second batch? Um, so what my... Uh, I have four daughters, and one of them, when she's pouring uh, waffle mix, she tends to overpour, and it just comes pouring out the side. A big mess, so to speak, but they have to learn, right? Um, Gosmenia, you said you have some children. Uh, what are your children's ages? I have um, a senior. She's going to be... Uh, 17 coming up here in a few weeks in September and then I have a sophomore and a freshman and then my youngest is going into kindergarten we tried one more time to have a son and we got another girl so I just that was it I was done trying how much better was it uh three tablespoons in the mix for the large batch if you're going to make a smaller batch 
break the uh, break the recipe down into thirds and only use like one egg, one teaspoon of butter, like that. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Ooh, yay. <laughs> no, you won't. This is a really, really nice mix. It always comes out good. Everybody loves it. And then um, you just don't, you don't have to worry about it. And it's so much cheaper to make it yourself. And I throw, you know, this together really quick, you know, a couple minutes like we did. And I have at least four meals worth of uh, waffles or pancakes ready to go. Let's see. Mine are almost 15 in heaven. Yeah, I I remember you mentioning something like that about your daughter. I'm really sorry to hear of her passing. Um, my my husband and I we actually had one child, uh, our very first baby. He was born in March, and he had an undetected heart defect, and so he lived to be 29 days. We didn't find out about his condition till about four days before he passed. He was our one and only boy, and sent, after that we had uh, four girls, and apparently it just wasn't in the plans to have any more sons, so who knows, maybe I'll have grandsons, we'll see. And then you have 12-year-old girl twins, 8-year-old girl, 6-year-old boy, well... Glad you have a mix. 23 months old. Oh my gosh, that's got to be fun. Yeah, the youngest will be too soon. My favorite age is like from six months till about three. <laughs> then they get an attitude. Hang on one second, I'm going to let my dog out. Get the plate ready to start putting the waffles on them. I know my daughter, my uh, second daughter, uh, who's a sophomore this year, she has autism. And so she never misses dinner. And we're about we're a little late for dinner. And she'd rather have this over the hamburgers dad's cooking downstairs. Boy, girl, twins. Yeah, you know. The loss of a child, it's just one of those things where you're in a club that nobody else will understand. And I get it, uh, you know, and for you to go, you know, 12 years with yours, I can't imagine, you know, I will not claim to know how that has had an effect on you. I only know, you know, that 29 days was enough for me. I thank God I was allowed to take my son home and love him instead of spending 29 days in the hospital. So I'm so thankful for that, even though he was very sick and we didn't know it. We just thought he had flu, possible pneumonia, and then we found out otherwise. So yeah, it was quick, but I loved having my baby. I, I'm glad I got to take him home and love him like a normal mom would, instead of spending that whole time in the hospital. All right, now all I have to buy is a waffle. I, yeah, well, you know, um, resale stores, they have waffle irons. And for a family your size, I would recommend two. So you can have one popping in and popping out. Because, uh, let's see, yes it is. Absolutely, absolutely, my heart just bleeds for anyone who's lost a child. So I'm with you. And it's, it's not easy. It's just something that uh, you learn how to live with it. But yeah, but at least we know that we're not alone. We have others that we can lean on. Okay. That's right. He was mine for 29 days. And one day I might go into the whole story on that. But um, 
I was blessed with peace. My son passed away uh, two and a half months prior to my mother-in-law passing away. And so they are actually buried together. And I'm sorry this ended up being kind of a dark-sided video. I also feel very blessed that my son is buried with my mother-in-law and I loved her dearly. So it was a blessing. Absolutely. Sorry, back to the yummy waffles. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Um... Right. So I think, oh, yeah, we're about done here. So if you can see it, you know, it's nice and golden. And let's see. And for those of you, you know, who want a crispy waffle, Can you hear that? So that is our Belgian waffle mix. You can make your pancakes with it. Just thin it down a little more if you like. Oh, that's sweet. I'm glad you got, I'm glad you got that for you to have peace to. And oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Cost Mania definitely get you a couple of waffle makers there. This is a really good mix. I wouldn't be sharing it if I hadn't already been using this myself. You know, anytime I recommend something, it's going to be because I have, it's tried and true. It's tested. I, you know, I also make my own yogurt and I've been doing that for over three years now. And so... I would not, absolutely would not recommend anything that I didn't feel I could stand by. So let's see. Yeah, a double. Good idea. <laughs> you know, sometimes it feels like you just can't crank them out fast enough. But yeah. Um, I'm not going to take up too many, too much more of your time here. Um, I'm pretty sure your family's waiting for dinner as well. I hope I didn't start something on that one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to finish these up. So one kid can have her dinner and she'll probably have it for breakfast too. So thank you, Gosmini. I really appreciate it. Oh, good. Dinner already. Yeah. Ooh, we'll see. My family doesn't eat beans, so I don't get to eat stuff like that. But sounds good. I hope you do a video on your rice and beans. Let me know. I might make some for myself. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I've just, it's taken me a second to just even get used to hearing my own voice, let alone put my face to it. So, like I said, this is a treat because I've, not done this yet, but I really do appreciate your encouragement. And, you know, from the, a couple of the other videos I've done, I've received so much encouragement. And so I'm going to try to do more and get my face online a little bit more. So it's just, for me, it's been kind of a slow process, but I really do appreciate everyone's support and kindness and, uh, but I also feel blessed, truly blessed to be in the homesteading community along with people who are, I feel so much, you know, like-minded. We, we don't have to guess when we meet a fellow homesteader, you know, are they going to think I'm nuts? No, it's really, really comforting to feel like you, you've connected with people who actually think like you do. So, oh. Did one on squash casserole. Okay, what kind of squash? I do a couple of different squashes myself. Yeah, that one's the popular one, and I've been blown away by it. And, but again, a lot of uh, kind words and support. And so, yeah, I have to do an update video actually on the other one that has the views. Yellow and zucchini. All right. I'll be looking forward to seeing that video.
Gusmania. What is your name, by the way? I don't want to just go by your channel name. I, I want to learn names of those that care enough to be so kind and supportive. And thanks for sticking with me this long. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, my voice mess up has been messed up quite often this past year. Okay, Jerush, Jer, Jerusa, Jerusa, maybe. You might have to tell me how to say it. Like, you know, my last name's Albany, but so many people mess it up. It's like, it's the capital of New York. Most people do say Albany, but I don't know why people mess ours up. So if I type it in on how to say our name, I type in all like A-L-L -L, and then bunny, B-U-N-N-Y. So <laughs> it helps people to get it right. Jerusha, Jerusha, Jerusha. Okay. I like that. I have a sister actually. Her name is Jerica and everybody mess, messes up her name too. It's J-E-R-R-I-K-A and they call her Jerica. So, but it's uh, my Mom, when she came up with her name, it was a um, a variation from Jericho that she named her. My sister was a very special baby. She was born three months early and survived a heart defect. And uh, she was only one pound, 13 ounces, but she was a fighter. So, yeah, she's about a year and a half older than me, but her name is special. So. Well, listen, I'm not going to take up much more of your, oh, okay. I have, my middle name is Ruth, so mine's in the biblical arena. Hello, Karen. Oh, but missed the recipe. Okay, well, a recap on the recipe. Uh, for the, um, <clears throat> I will make a comment on the video after it posts. Okay, hang on. Let me get this waffle out of here. Um, I'll post a comment on the video after and see, you can go lighter too if you want. This one was a lot darker. I left it in there a while. <clears throat> um, but the, the waffle bulk mix is uh, you have six cups of flour, uh, a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, and then three tablespoons of your baking powder. And then when I make a uh, mix for making waffles, if I'm going to make a, a large batch, I'm going to use three cups of that. But if I'm going to make a small batch, I'll only use one cup. And it... Uh, so when you're making your mix, it's three cups of your mix, and then you're going to add to that three eggs, three tablespoons of melted butter. The vanilla is optional, but I think it's a, it's a must-have, honestly. And then you're going to put in somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half to three cups of milk, depending on how compact your flour or light your flour is. It'll take more or less milk. And, um, you know, you want to... Fairly thick consistency. I need to close that. Um, for your waffle, and I'm on waffle number three already, and we're about halfway through the mix. So um, I'll probably get six, maybe seven waffles out of this. But thank you for coming on, Karen. Um, and then, okay, yeah, I think I went over all the other stuff. But I will post a comment when this uh, live stream is over and I'll put everything in there from the mix to uh, making your mix after the fact and making your waffles or pancakes, okay? So I'm not going to take up any more time. I appreciate everyone stopping in. Thank you, Gossmania, for hanging out with me. And uh, well, Jerusha. I'm going to remember that, Jerusha. And um, Thank you, Karen. I'm sorry you got here so late. I hope you'll take a look at the beginning of the video when I went through the whole uh, mix step. 
And you guys have a good night. And uh, if everybody's kids are going back to school tomorrow, I'll send up a prayer for everyone's safety and getting there safely. So take care. God bless.